Welcome to the tutorial of uh, Ghost Matter. Ghost Matter is a new add-on that uh, helps you to mix uh, material in Blender. So this is a uh, node editor you can find uh, in any window and use uh, like uh, any other node editor. What you need? You need uh, a mesh and you need materials. So for now, no materials in the scene. So let's add from the ASN browser. So I will select several materials like this with Shift. And I can, uh, for example, uh, uh, use this button. This will help you to bring this to the scene without having to apply it to, to, uh, to a surface like it is by default in Blender. Uh, so let's add another one. Uh, from materials, and no filter is yes, this one. Okay, I select it and to the scene, and it's here. So it's okay for that. Let's now see how it works. I select the, the mesh. The mesh have to be selected all uh, all along the time you you're editing your material, your ghost matter material. So let's start. We have a little button here. That creates the basic uh, nodes. So let's duplicate two nodes. We can make it unique by clicking here. So as you can see, it has another name now. And you can edit the node by double click on it. And then you can do whatever you want. Let's use this. How oh, I want to see what I'm doing. You can use uh, Cycles. Uh, I, I am using Cycles because it's pretty faster than EV. EV is a bit laggy when you have uh, several nodes uh, in use, but you can uh, you can use it. Let's go Cycle. Okay, let's choose a color like this. Let's make a nice paint. To go back to the material you can double click in the background or click here and this one uh, get uh, put the, the models with the, the dish shader on the entire model skipping uh, ghost material this is just for the preview uh, let's double click in the background and we are here and uh, you can use the mix to go from one material to another I will get rid of this okay so this means you can use any grayscale value to mix. So let's use some mask. You have any mask uh, available in Blender. Plus this one's specific ones. Let's try the smart mask. Smart mask had have several masks. Uh, several masks you can use. Uh, for example, uh, this one. This is procedural mask. Let's try the edge mask. As you can see, there's some uh, eye icons. This helps you to see directly the output uh, by clicking on it. And if you want to go back to the entire material, you just have to, you can do this, but you can uh, double click on the background. This is pretty useful. When you're here and you want to see the, the material back, you just have to click. Pretty useful. So let's see this one. Uh, this one is uh, your average and valet, or both, uh, by clicking uh, Shift. And you can uh, change the, 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 the value here. You can add some noise in it. Uh, let's keep it simple for now. And uh, you can add some contrast. Like this. And you can use it. You can plug this as a mix value and here we go so now if I want to add for example I will make a, something like metallic here we go nice fast and nice you can replace the material by anyone anyone from here and you get this this is very fast to use you can test many things without having a total uh, mess of nodes. 
So let's go back to our first one. And let's make it much more advanced. You can add another type of mask. In the smart mask you have two sort of mask. Uh, there's the maskers, you can see some some one some of uh, them are, uh, are named maskers. Maskers uh, are masks that uh, can use a grayscale value uh, for the distribution. Let me show you that. So by default this one is pretty cool. Create some thing like that. So let's plug this in the mix value. Double click and you have this. And you have a nice damage bump. You will see that I can plug this here. Whatever you you the bump uh, still in the from the material are still there, but this get over. And look at this. You can have this. Change the density of it. Change the scale. And if you want to that this uh, will n you don't want to have this all over uh, you can use it. You can use this one as a distribution value. So for that, I will plug this. I will use. I will click on this. We will see this plus uh, later. You can see this one. Let's use this one. Grayscale value. And what will happen? You can see this. The result here. That now. This filter will use this grayscale value for the distribution. So we can push this up a bit and maybe change some value here. I don't know. Like this. Changing the scale or not. I don't know. I will try anything. Like this. And let's see the result by double click. And look at that. This is very cool. And uh, you can add another one, for example, if you want to add. Let's look at this one. You can choose, for example, oxidation. Oxidation is a pretty nice uh, effect. Let's use it by default and let's this time we'll use the plus. The plus will add a socket and uh, you can choose the mix. I want to get the, in the screen mode. So we'll use this one, filter by this one in additive. So you can see. And then use as distribution for this one. And you get this you can change the value here okay pretty efficient uh, let's now change uh, let's know what what we can do let's duplicate this one for example and you can see there's a socket here. This means you can enter any value here and go there. And you can now find the value entry, entry is here. So let's use a mixed color. I will use this first one and another one but darker. So, here yes, you can use, you can see the effect of this filter, but we have some weird uh, reflection. This is too, too clean, so let's use a ramp 
and we'll use this in the roughness this way I will be able to filter this a bit more like that so keeping some clean reflections and some dirty ones Okay, here's a pretty dirty robot. And now I want to add, uh, for example, uh, a sticker. You, you, this, these are uh, procedural materials, but you can use texture as well. No problem. For example, let's use, let's add a image texture. Let's open uh, this sticker with alpha and I want to put this here in the chest. So select the, the texture node, the image node and here in the tools, in the Ghostmat tools you can see a decal project. Let's try this. So it takes the picture you can use S to scale down J R scale it down use it like that and once uh, it's okay you can use enter just a bit change like this and for now you can see it because it's not plugged but I will plug this in the paint color so I will use this as a new entry and the alpha too let's go back here I can use a new um, yeah we'll put this before or after maybe maybe after I will use the color here and the alpha as a mix value. And here we go. And you can change the value of the reflection from here. You can add some. You want to make this brighter. Okay, so now. As you can see, the roughness will be uh, darker, but uh, the HDR I'm using is uh, is blurred, so you can see sh really sharp reflections. Okay, go back my double double click, and here we go. We have few nuts, and uh, we have a nice robot, dirty robot. I don't know what happens to him but this looks sad and we can use a for example rust as you can see all the, the bump from this one this one has a big powerful bump and uh, everything is still here I can reduce it okay and this little uh, Ghost will let you uh, see the, uh, the material on the under entire model. Pretty useful. So here's uh, the presentation of uh, of this add-on. You will see uh, some other functionalities. There's a lot uh, in the in the next uh, chapters. Thank you. Bye.